All right, guys, I heard the camera shut off there a second ago. I uh, ran out of space on this memory card. It's just a, it's only an eight gigabit. So I erased one of the old videos and uh, set it to a crappier format so I can get about 18 more minutes worth of recording. But we're almost done, so I think the last hardest part is gonna be getting this back on with the, just the bottom bolt. Probably gonna be hard to get started. But uh, last thing I wanted to show you is this plug. Hopefully you can see it. Let me turn this around. Yeah, this plug is for the ABS module, obviously. But to get it off, there's a little button in the middle of it that you depress, and then it, the clip that holds it in place actually slides that way. Um, it's a little bit different than some I've seen, but some GMs, I guess, I have seen it slide like that. But to put it back on, you get it started in, and as you're pushing in, you push the clip over. Yeah, just like so. There. And it pulls it in, and you see, I don't know if you can see it in the camera because you're far away, but a little tab in the middle will pop out. It's, it's on there. So now, without wasting too much time talking, get right into this start these two top bolts and then the bottom one should at least be aligned. I'd like to get this card done today before I actually have to do it in my real job, but we'll see. I would also like to return the core to the parts store, but things don't always go as planned. We'll do our best. Alright. Let's see if I can feel this bolt hole first. Yeah, yeah. It's way in there. This is going to be all by feel. You can't see this when it's right in there pretty good. Yeah. Well, let's try this. Little trick I found if you want to hold a bolt in a socket. See, obviously it just falls right back out. Shorten out my battery. Lay a piece of paper over the socket. Jam your bolt in it. Rip off the excess. And voila, it stays in. Now, hopefully, we can feed it in through there and find the hole without dropping it. I think that was it. I see that was it. Yep. And there's a piece of paper. That tighten these two other ones. Should use my air ratchet for this since I'm in a hurry, but I always figure the time it takes to grab it and plug it in and have these turned in, but probably not the case. It probably would still be quicker to grab it.
Okay, that's on and tight. Plug the electrical connectors back in. This goes to the air charge temperature sensor. And as I was doing before the camera shut off, I was trying to get this check valve off of here. There, that's off. Plug that in. Like so. Clamp back in place. Like that. Alright. I guess it's time for the air hose. Put the sensor in. This, move this. Alright, little linear ratchet wrench. Hook the battery back up quick. Guys, the camera says we got about 11 minutes of filming left. So I guess I'll see if I can get this started up and let you hear it. See if it sounds better. Pretty sure I got everything hooked up. So Alright guys, I'd say it's a fix. If you look at the top two, the uh, actual RPM and the desired RPMs. We're uh, right around where we need to be for this temperature. 600 is what it's calling for and it's hovering right around there. And if I push the brake, it stays the same. Which is good news. Uh, let's see if it flip the throttle here and see if it takes a little bit of time to stabilize. Not too bad. That might partially be due to the fact that the intake gasket does have a small leak, but. Um, I think we're going to run it a little while and see if the light comes back on for the same thing, first of all, or anything extra for that matter. It's been ran for several 
miles before I did this and it only had that one code so I'm pretty sure that's all it's going to pop up but you never know um, yeah seems to have fixed the problem it's idling smooth it's not surging it's idling down where it should be so I think we're going to call it a fix see ya